Welcome to the Missouri Liberty Alliance. Today is Sunday, September 5th, 2021. Hey there, gang. I'm going to put this video uh, not only on the Missouri Liberty Alliance YouTube channel, also on the Truth, Money, and Freedom podcast channel, because I've not given that channel any love lately, and it needs a little bit of love. And uh, although this is a, a video about Missouri, the information I'm going to give you applies to every state. What we're going to talk about today is money. We're going to talk about, I'm sorry, we're not talking about money, we're talking about currency. And we're talking about um, the beer flu, um, all the currency that was printed up by the Federal Reserve to deal with the beer flu, where it went, and the resulting policies because of, you know, the specific paths the currency took. And uh, this is actually going to be a lead-in to a bigger video. My wife and I are doing a lot of research right now, uh, and it's for the state of Missouri, but it's important that you understand that number one I've got to speak in code uh, because YouTube is after me or is after this channel um, YouTube has made it very very plain to me that they don't like the content that I'm putting out so I'm going to speak in code but it's important you understand in this video 2 plus 2 equals 4 so this is a simple run-of-the-mill follow the money video it's really no more complicated than that Number two, YouTube is shutting down the ability of our channel to be in recommended pools by taking away the view counts. So, and it's been confirmed multiple times on multiple occasions. So, uh, if you have a chance to, please share the video. I don't even know how many views we're actually getting at this point. Um, also, too, um, in the last four days, I've received one phone call and one email from people who were unsubscribed from the channel. So they were just letting me know. I meant they came back and resubscribed, but it looks like YouTube is starting that process again. I got unsubscribed, by the way, my Timmy Chonga account got unsubscribed from this channel uh, shortly after it was actually made. So I know what you guys are going through, and it is real. You know, I meant people do get unsubscribed from channels all the time manually by YouTube. Um, so just hang with us. Uh, the website is actually proceeding as we speak. It's being worked on. So um, it, there's a, a, an approximate time date to get this done. Um, we'll see if we can hit that, and that's roughly about two weeks from now. We should have it uh, fully functional, at least very close to fully functional. And when that happens, um, and by the way, there's another date we have to hit on that too, because we're moving from one hosting company to another. And I do believe the date on that was uh, September 26th. So um, the website will actually go down for a little bit when we do that transition. But the website is critical to what we're trying to do here, and it is being worked on. It is getting love. Um, so for those of you who have who've been asking about the website, don't worry. It's being worked on. Trust me. Um, even this weekend, as we speak, it's being worked on. Okay. So um, please share. Please let people know. Um, and uh, this is, once again, a primer video for a bigger video based on more research but I need to be able to make some phone calls to the state of Missouri to finish up the other video and what it is about is COVID relief funds and where they go and then the influence the federal government has because of those funds and one of the ones that we want to talk about is is the Missouri public school system there's been a lot of money uh, I'm sorry not money currency uh, that has come to um, Missouri public schools and in fact right now to date it looks like it's about three quarters of a billion dollars has gone to Missouri public schools now every school in every state is getting this so we're not alone in this but it is interesting the new policies that they develop you know and we're under threat constantly with the school boards you know making a decision to you know do this you know, for the, the little folks that are going into those, into those big government indoctrination centers. And, and we have to understand that part of this may be based on ideology for the people that you elect into your school boards, but I think a lot more of it has to do with money, unfortunately. It has to do with, you know, there's a price point to buy off, you know, um, school boards and things of that nature. Not all of them are like that. Not all of them are like that, but I'm going to show you an example, a, a macro example of what I'm speaking of in just a bit. And I'm not going to drill down hard, gang, because we're still doing research right now, my wife and I, to actually make a, a, a pretty comprehensive video. 
Um, but it's important you understand about school choice. You know, the, and I'm not going to get into that now. We did, you know, a video with Jennifer Rosebrock uh, live, you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I want you guys to um, to stay with me on this because what I'm talking about is the flow of those little b those little bits of paper that are printed up by the Federal Reserve that cost them nothing. You know, literally, they just print money out of the thin air, right? Or currency, I'm sorry. It's not backed by anything. It's not backed by gold. It's not even backed by oil. It's not backed by anything other than faith and confidence of the American people that those bits of paper have value. We all believe it. It's like a mass psychosis. We all believe that this currency is worth something. And with that currency, you can buy people off. You can change their political minds, you know, just by, you guys are familiar with this. It's the corruption we see in the political system. It doesn't matter if it's in the United States or if it's in Australia. This is the way it goes. So in Missouri, uh, we're talking about nearly a billion dollars worth of currency that was printed and given. And then suddenly we have decisions to do this with our kids. And, and that's done by the school board. And, and the school board, you know, basically will, you know, reject what the parents think is the right thing to do and start thinking they know better, you know, because of local public health departments, which are also being funded by the Federal Reserve with fresh, minty, fresh currency right off the printing press and then shuttled to those organizations. And then suddenly it's all about this. It's all about this. And, you know, it's just to follow the money thing. Um, the mass psychosis starts when people actually believe the propaganda because, once again, the, the minty fresh currency is also going to the media through the pharmaceutical companies who are getting it for making this, right? So now we have um, the mainstream media pitching for pharmaceutical companies, right? We have state's governors sometimes pitching for the pharmaceutical companies. But once again, the currency didn't come from the pharmaceuticals, you know, to state governors per se. It came from the federal government, but there's strings attached to this. It's a simple follow the money exercise gang. It's really not more complicated than this. And some of that currency comes into your local school board and, and then they're making unpopular decisions and they may not even be telling you how much money that or if they even received any money at all from the uh, federal government. They may not even tell you this. But suddenly there's just an unpopular decision that they're enforcing on all the small people that are going into those big buildings, you know, those indoctrination centers. So, case in point is a website right here, the Missouri Department of Education. I'm calling these folks, too. Uh, I, I wish I could give you a deadline on when I'll get this video done, but I just want people to know what's going on in the state of Missouri as far as cash coming from the federal government um, into the public schools and then, you know, having to do with this. And eventually this is coming here, too, with the public schools, trust me. So why is that happening? Well, it's cash. It's just follow the money gang. I mean, it's really that simple. So I will link these two down below. This is a rabbit hole that I wish I had not started because it's taking a lot of my time now to research. And I'm hoping that I can cut through a lot of this just by talking to people. My wife is spending an enormous amount of time on this too. Um, but I want to give you a case in point here. St. Louis will receive $500 million half a billion dollars in coronavirus relief money the most in Missouri now who is fighting the state of Missouri on SEPA on the Second Amendment Preservation Act it's St. Louis uh, what city slash county is the most draconian uh, with the most totalitarian rules regulations St. Louis <laughs> Um, they're clearly being rewarded for their bad behavior by this worthless, minty, fresh currency right off the printing press uh, going right into their city um, with, with bad behavior. Or let's just say anti-liberty behavior, anti-freedom behavior. They like totalitarianism there. They like, um, they like their rules, their regulations, you know, their, you know... Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I, okay. two and two equals four okay. so St. Louis uh, not even Kansas City wanted to go against the state of Missouri on the Second Amendment Preservation Act now Jackson County did so I have to look into Jackson County and see how much cash went their way 
and see if that had something to do with it too or if this is more ideology based and here's your reward for your ideology of believing in totalitarian you know governments uh, totalitarians just don't come in the federal flavor gang they come in local flavors too trust me okay that's it for now I just wanted to inform you there's a larger video coming um, and I have to be careful with my words once again because YouTube is, is on us. Please share the videos, share the Facebook group, let people know that we're out there. We are, you know, doing our very, very best to get uh, quality content out there to help the people of Missouri understand what they need to do in order to maintain liberty and regain liberty in the state of Missouri. One more thing. I don't have the radio station. I think it's 97.1. Uh, Mark Cox. I will be on the Mark Cox show Tuesday morning at 7.35 in the morning, I believe. Um, so that's just two days away. And uh, it's in the St. Louis market. I'm not even sure it's on the radio uh, in where I live in the Springfield area. But I want to let you guys know that uh, another radio spot. And I'll see what I can do to make sure that we have that um, uh, downloaded somehow, you know, from, you know, hopefully they they put the stuff on the web as well and so we can actually put it in a video and you guys can see what we're doing here with the uh, second amendment stuff um and also um the fact that to my knowledge at this point in time and i've had confirmation on this there has been no redress for the decision made by um the judge in jefferson city from st louis st louis county or jackson county so that's what i'll probably be talking about thank you guys very much for watching today i hope you have a wonderful wonderful labor day weekend thank you for everything you're doing thank you for following us on our path to liberty you guys take care may god bless each and every one of you